Hi, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Off the Cuff. Today's show is going to be sweet, and I mean that literally. Now, if you're like me and you've controlled or reversed your type 2 diabetes, or if you're keto or low carb, sugar is out. It's a no no. Has anybody ever brought home a box of donuts? Or maybe at work, and you look at those donuts, you're like, oh man, I want just one. And you can, but you're cheating, and you're not doing yourself any favors. Today, I'm going to share a recipe I found online for a donut. A low carb, guilt free donut. Oh, this is going to be great. Get your cups of coffee ready or your milk. It's time to make, time to make the donut. What he said. Here's what we need to make our low carb glazed donuts one third of a cup of coconut flour, one quarter cup urethritol, three tablespoons of cocoa powder, one half teaspoon baking powder, one quarter teaspoon of salt, one quarter cup melted butter, four large eggs, one half teaspoon vanilla extract, and six tablespoons of brewed coffee. Now for our glaze, one tablespoon of cocoa powder, four tablespoons of powdered urethritol, one quarter teaspoon of vanilla extract, three tablespoons of heavy cream, one and a half tablespoons of water, and one teaspoon of cream cheese. Here's what we need to make our glazed donuts. Oh, this is going to be great. Nothing's going to go wrong in this episode. <laughs> donuts! Who doesn't love donuts? All right, all right, sir, now. Pull over. Pull over? Yeah. License and registration. Look at my kitchen. No, license and registration. Don't make me ask again. I really have to lock my door during episodes. What did I do? Yeah. You're doing 70 and a 20. But I'm not even driving. No, no, no. You were doing 70 carbs and a 20 carb of less zone. Oh, the donuts. Yeah, the donuts. I'm going to have to write you up. Oh, wait, I, I, I didn't finish. I'm not doing regular donuts. I'm doing low-carb donuts. Low-carb? How low-carb? Oh, they're so low-carb, it's a crime. <laughs> what what I mean is five net carbs per donut. Hey, uh, I can make sure you get one. Are you trying to bribe an officer of the law? No. Do you actually believe the low-carb donut can get you out of the trouble you're in? No, sir. Do you actually believe that I would violate my oath of duty and ignore your egregious infraction for a low-carb donut? Not even addressing the fact that it is a damaging stereotype and a tired trope. Thank you for letting me use trope in a sentence I've been looking for years, but that doesn't get you off it. You're right. I was wrong. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Make it a baker's dozen and you've got yourself a deal. <laughs> Come right up. <laughs> Let's just start with six. Okay, we're going to start with the dry ingredients in the bowl first. The coconut flour, the urethritol, the cocoa powder, the baking powder, salt, Let's start with the the eggs. That's one. The melted butter and the brewed coffee. Yes, I'm using decaf. The last time I had a donut, it was totally a cheat. <laughs> Ooh, look how nice, rich, and chocolatey this is getting. Oh, I cannot wait. Now, a lot of my recipes on Off the Cuff, I actually, uh, I do uh, for the first time on camera. This is one of those recipes. This is my first attempt, and I'm very optimistic it's going to come out nice. We take the tray, and we spray it. I'm using non-stick spray. And then we're going to pour them in to each one of these molds. So let me get something to help that. That looks about right. I think I have enough for six. Okay. 
so I manipulate this a little bit and I made it that I can make six donuts comfortably. Now we're going to put it in the air fryer. All right, now we're going to put this into the air fryer. I actually, <laughs> I actually measured this to make sure it would fit. It does. Just going to be careful because it's gooey and you can spill. Slide it in nice and easy. Now this is going to take 15 minutes at 325 degrees. Now let's make that glaze. Okay, just like last time, the powdered stuff first. Here's the powdered urethanol. Look, whoops, the <laughs> cocoa powder. Now all I got left is liquid. Here's the water. Here's the heavy cream. Let's make sure we get all of that. The vanilla. And the cream cheese. Plop. <laughs> okay, that's done. All right, confession time. It's off the cuff, right? So I put the donuts in the air fryer for 15 minutes at 325. I checked them at 10, and at 15, they seem done. I turned them over. And the tops were done, the bottoms were not. I don't have it on camera because I thought it'd be perfect, but it wasn't. <laughs> Thanks. So, it's back in the air fryer for 10 more minutes, and all should be good now. All right, let's try this again. Oh, yeah. Now we have donuts. All right, now. Here's our donuts. Oh, don't they look fantastic. Yes, after I cooked them for 16 and a half years. Uh, 25 total minutes, but it was totally worth it. Here is our glaze. So we have our little glaze donut assembly line. I'm gonna do this by hand. We're gonna take the donut, put it into the glaze like that, <laughs> like that. There we go, so there's one. There's two. All right. Our finished glazed donuts. Six, uh, five. I had six, but one of them I pushed too hard and it broke up. So I just wanted to show you the successful donuts. Here they are. Well, I made the donuts. These are extremely easy to make. Yeah, there's a lot of ingredients. Don't worry about it. It really comes together quite quickly. Now, I did make the mistake of cooking them uh, too short a time, but you can correct that. Now, the recipe in the oven is to find a pan, you know, a donut pan, spray it, and cook it at 325 for 10 to 15 minutes. So, uh, maybe with a metal pan, the bottom would have cooked better. Mine was silicone, so it needed a little bit more time. So whether it's the air fryer or whether it's the oven, you can adjust to the type of pan you have. And of course, keep on checking them. Oh, man, I've been waiting all day to try these. The one that broke, I was gonna eat, but no, I wanted to be on camera. So here we go. My first taste of low carb glazed donuts. Oh boy, these so good. Oh, ah, these are delicious, chocolatey, um, soft and spongy. The icing of uh, the frosting is really, really good. Oh, I have to have another one. Mmm, look at that. Look. Oh, man. Give me a cup of coffee and I'm all set. Oh. I have to make a baker's dozen. Nah, that sheriff is probably a long way away. Okay, yeah, coming up. All right, well, that's it for this time. We're here again in two weeks after this show debuts with another recipe. Be well, eat good. In this case, very good. Okay.